Hi, I'm Sally Wills with Live Well Greenville. Live Well Greenville is located in Greenville County, South Carolina, which is in the northwest corner of our state and located about halfway between Atlanta, Georgia and Charlotte, North Carolina. Greenville County is the largest metropolitan area in the state and our county seat, Greenville City, is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. In 2008, Live Well Greenville got its start with a surveillance study of the youth obesity rates in our county at that time. And what we found is that more than one third of our youth were experiencing overweight and obesity. A handful of concerned citizens and community partners came together to officially launch Live Well Greenville in 2011. And in our early years, our community partners quickly expanded as we worked to address policy systems and environmental changes that impacted children and families in many of the sectors or locations where you would expect to find them, such as schools, out of school time centers, congregations, work sites. That work was impactful. And as we continue to grow, we really did establish ourselves as a coalition that was doing things differently, especially by that focus on policy system and environmental changes for long-term solutions for looking upstream at those long-term solutions, and for establishing ourselves as a trusted, relatable partner, particularly among the nonprofits in our community. However, with some of our great successes, such as shifting the way that school lunches were prepared in one of the largest school districts in the country, and doing smaller policy system and environmental changes like infrastructure investment in congregations for play equipment, new ways of experiencing play and activity in our out of school time in schools, we were starting to wonder if our impact was as meaningful as it could be. So in 2019, we partnered with Catalyzing Communities and brought together 20 influential leaders across Greenville County to explore how Live Well Greenville could broaden its impact. Given that we were hoping to affect the obesity levels of more than a third of our youth and two thirds of the adults in our county, we knew that we needed to shift the way that we were doing the work. We could no longer go one organization at a time, one person at a time. We needed to look at more the societal or community level changes that would affect the level of change that we needed. So like many of you, we dove into creating a very sophisticated causal loop diagram. This CLD has really helped us to define the systems that we want to address as a community and shifted the way that we have done the work, starting with the infrastructure of our coalition. As I mentioned in the past, we were organized around work groups that really focused on the sectors where children and their family were. As we looked at where we wanted to go in the future, our CLD pointed us towards focusing on three main areas, food security, active living, and health equity. And while health equity is blended through everything that we do, we saw that there were some specific initiatives that really needed to be called out and share and no longer share the focus because it didn't necessarily focus on food security or on active living. Our work also took a more intentional look at advocacy, equity, and particularly raising community power and voice as we thought about how we might engage community members in the policy system and environmental changes that we tackle in the future. Our work is focused around three very specific activities. So amplifying community power, really looking at how lay community members not only engage with our work, which had been an area where we were not as engaged in the past, but also looking at how they can amplify their own voice and their own power to create advocacy campaigns or ideas for shifting policies that might affect them in the places that they care the most about. We also looked at advocating for health equity, as again, health equity is the core of everything that we do, but we really wanted to call it out as we shifted our work into the future, recognizing that many of our community members do not have all of the same access to and opportunities as other community members might have. And then advancing community collaboration. As we really have mentioned we were well known for this area in the past we were really successful in bringing lots of community members together particularly in the nonprofit sector however in the recent years we've been able to amplify this work as we look at how we bring those partners together and find funding that not only supports our work but is supporting the work of more than 10 community partners 
We've also worked extensively to engage community residents through our Health Equity Action Leaders Board or our HEAL Board. Not only are they working in the space of building community power and voice, they're really grounding all of our work into the experience of those community members who have less access to healthy foods, fewer opportunities for physical activity and an active lifestyle, and most importantly, are experiencing health inequities. I feel like our work is much more meaningful at this point. We are doing the kinds of work and kinds of focus that we have wanted to do for years, but really had not been able to branch out to. And I'm really excited about where we go in the future. We're so grateful for the opportunity to have worked with Catalyze and communities. Because of our work together, Live Well Greenville is more clearly meeting our community where it's at and making the kinds of impacts that we dreamt of during our strategic planning process. We can't wait to see where we go together next. Thank you.